time for a new segment. Well, actually, it's, it's, it's the same segment, crypto therapy. But now the audience can submit their questions for Bill and myself to answer. So for anybody out there, if you want to submit for the next live stream to submit your voicemail, if you have a crypto question, any crypto question, and as usual, this is not financial advice, not investment advice. We, we, we can only share with you our own opinion of what we would personally do, right? That's why we have the disclaimer here. But call toll-free 1-888-90-TOKEN. That's 1-888-908-6536 to submit your question for the Token Metrics live stream. We accept calls from the USA and international, right? Uh, but we definitely uh, encourage you to check with your phone company to make sure if you're calling international, whether there'll be a charge or not. Uh, it is a toll-free number, so anybody in the U.S., you don't have to pay any to, to call. Uh, and we do accept international calls, but I'm not sure whether... Uh, I think it might vary depending on where you are, but just double-check. But it is a toll-free number because that was feedback people gave us last time when we tried this. So with that being said, go here to submit your question. Okay, so the first voicemail that has been submitted today, this, this comes from somebody in our professional plan. So they, they basically had first dibs. So let's go ahead and play this. If anybody has any issues with the with the audio, please tell us in the comments below. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want to ask if um playing the indices, how do you advise to play the other projects? You know, during the call like curve. You know, all our projects that are still under the radar. We buy them now, like Helium. Projects are not on the indices. How do you advise to play them? For instance, if I'm putting 10K on the indices, uh, of course, you're not financial advisor, but it's just how, how would you advise? Just an advice. How to <laughs> play the other tokens. Okay, so I'm not sure how the audio uh, came out. Uh, let me know if... Um... If the audio was was t was loud enough, okay. But just kind of go through the question again. So basically, question is how to invest in token in tokens not in the indices, right? So basically, he says uh, he's following the token metrics indices, but he wants to invest in tokens like Helium and others, which are pretty pretty new and not currently in the indices. Uh, so definitely very good question, very relevant question. I would say uh, treat treat it like a diff like a part of your portfolio. Right. So imagine you have some large cap coins, you have some, so basically you have two, two, two portfolios, one for trading, one for long-term hodling, one is a long-term value investor, right? So look at it and say, okay, what coins do I want to have? Okay. And maybe part of those, for example, maybe your, your long-term hodl portfolio is multiple indices. Maybe you have the quarterly token metrics indice, maybe you have the, the annual token metrics indices uh, uh, index, right? Uh, and then maybe you have some money on the side for trading and you put that into these new coins, right? I, I think that could be one way of doing it. Obviously, it's different for everybody, but me, myself, I do have Helium. Uh, so what I'm personally doing, uh, that's probably the best way to kind of give you an example, right? Or Because I can say one thing, but if it, I, I can do something totally different, right? So for me, I currently have been mining Helium. Then I've also been buying some Helium on exchanges. I, I bought some more. Um, around like a dollar fifty, dollar eighty or so, uh, uh, prior to it getting added on Binance US. First of all, congrats to anybody who's who's been in Helium. That's been doing pretty well. Uh, I think yeah, probably the best investment so far this year. Uh, it's, it's done over five hundred percent, and and I and and for me, I'm just kind of buying for the long term, right? So I'm buying. I'm kind of done trying to predict the price and try, trying to time it. Right, because I tried to time it when it was a twenty-five cents. I tried to buy it at ten and fifteen, and it kept on going to a dollar fifty. <laughs> right, so so I'm done playing that game. Because if, if I'm investing long term, the price is not the biggest factor. Right, obviously it does matter, but it's, it's not the biggest factor because if I think it's still undervalued and I think it's going to be a top twenty, top thirty market cap project, then it makes sense for me to accumulate now. Right, so I'm I'm, I'm basically doing that. Then I also have. Matic network long term, uh, that's also in the in the in my annual value investor index, 
Uh, then I also have Chainlink. That's in the price prediction monthly index. So I'm not necessarily putting money in all the indices. I'm picking the ones I like and picking a, a few coins from there, right? Because right now I'm kind of still in the process of building out my, my portfolio. But I would say if, if, I'm, if I'm really going to allocate a lot of money into crypto, I would probably build a basket of indices. Either that or maybe pick indices I like and pick out the coins I like. Uh, then for new ones that aren't on the on, on, on any of the indices, I would I would still buy them if I like them, if I, if I think it's good long term, or buy them as a trade, right? So really, the indices are a guide, but you don't have to follow them to the letter, right? It's okay to kind of do what you want to do, just kind of use them as a guide, right? They're kind of there to help you. It's, it's kind of like GPS. Imagine you're driving. The GPS could tell you to go one way, but you maybe know this way that's a short shortcut. Or maybe you want to pass this other way so that i mean so it's not like you have to follow it 100 percent of the time i mean if, if you're a newbie then probably yes right but if, if you're somebody who's more seasoned and you kind of know how to do your re research and you really believe in a project it's fine to kind of veer off course it's kind of there as a guide um bill anything to add to that sure so here's an example take the big I, they're now i now consider them the big coins in the DeFi space right so there's like kava ave you know kyber ren right these are all kind of top 50 market cap coins if you want to have DeFi as 25 percent of your portfolio but you still want that trading flavor those coins don't always go up and down at the same time you know Kava will go on a run, then it'll stop. And then Ren will go and then Ave, right? So if you want to play a trading game, it's like, you know, buy it, it goes up, take the money and switch to another one. You're still in DeFi. You've still got, I don't know, 10 or 15% of your portfolio in it. You're just, your portfolio has a speculative element, right? So three quarters of the pie is for investment and 25% of the pie is for trading. Now, those DeFi examples, you know, there are multiple themes now, right? There's the interoperability, the Oracle space, et cetera. But you can play it any way you want, just not with all your money. <laughs> right? so, yeah. so it's not with all your money. And then on the other side, you don't have to stick exactly to the index. You can experiment. I'm going to pull this coin out and substitute a trading coin, right? Believe it or not, that's what professional money managers will do. They're tracked on how or if they can beat the S&P. So they're going to have their picks or things that they like to try to get a better return for their investors than if they just drop their money in an index. Yeah, uh, good point, Bill. Uh, one last thing to add to that. So if you are going to veer, of course, kind of like as Bill said, and pick something that's not in the index, I would still definitely encourage you to look at the rating on tokenmetrics to make sure that whether it's a trade to make sure the TA or the price prediction score is good, or if it's something that you're putting in your long-term portfolio that's not in, in any of the indices, to still make sure it has a good rating overall, right? So definitely encourage that because that's kind of why we made tokenmetrics to really help you look at cryptocurrencies like that. So thank you for that question. And tell us what you think. Uh, do you have different ways of investing in tokens that aren't in any of the indices, tell us down in the comments below.